Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done one of these because I'm a shitty human. So I asked you guys to ask me questions. And so here's what you came up with. My good friend Droid Monter X asks, what piece of tech from 2050 do you look forward to the most? Honestly, I hope that at least 90% of vehicles are fully electric. Now, even though I'm not much of a car guy and I realize that the sound of wind passing by isn't gonna drop panties anytime soon, I just believe that it's a direction that humanity needs to go if you know we wanna be around for much longer. Plus, have you seen all the dope bells and whistles that go into electric cars like Tesla's? It may not drop panties, but It'll drop my briefs. <laughs> I, I don't wear briefs. I wear thongs. Abraham Sarminto asks, first camera? Oh man, so the first camera I bought for Pornhub, I mean YouTube, was a Sony Handycam. I don't even remember the model number, but what a piece of shit, holy smokes. The box said it had super fast autofocus. That wasn't the case. It was supposed to have a nice, crisp 1080p image. That wasn't the case either. So within like three months, I went out and bought a Canon T3i, which was a huge upgrade over a handy cam and also allowed me to familiarize myself with how to work a DSLR. Now I'm using a Panasonic GH5 with a Metabones XL speed booster and a Sigma 18 to 35 lens, and I couldn't be happier. So I'm gonna take a stab at this name, okay? Marijos Saras asks, do you use smartwatches? Uh, nope. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I think they're cool, but I still haven't found one that justifies me paying what they charge for the good ones. And they always seem to be lacking in one way or another, like, oh, I dig the look of that one, but it's got a shit display, or, oh, that one has a great display and looks cool, but battery life is shit and the charging method's stupid, so I just rock a Casio G-Shock Aviation Series watch. It's pretty sweet. And boy, Hakeem asks, a quick tech under 50? You do know this is a Q&A video, right? But okay. Link will be in the description. Shayan Hanjani asks, where do you live? Do you like it? Why or why not? So I live in Victoria, BC on Vancouver Island. It's sort of Canada's secret Mediterranean-esque island. And yes, I absolutely love it here. It's never too cold in the winter and never too hot in the summer. And we're surrounded by some of the most beautiful landscape anywhere in the world. But living on an island has plenty of drawbacks. Um, for instance, I've missed out on hundreds of big brand opportunities over the years, and I have to order almost everything I buy online because I can't get it locally. And the population here is split between the nearly dead and the newly wed. So you get an annoying mix of old farts who can't drive for shit, and young hippies that have nowhere to go and nowhere to be, which, inspires a road rage in me unlike anything you've ever seen before. T-Bone asks, do you do or like any of the VR gaming that is out right now? Uh, I'm guessing you're asking if I'm a VR gamer and if I am, what games do I play? The answer to that is no. I'm a dainty little bitch and get motion sickness way too fast. <laughs> Almond Central asks, do you think humanity is more creative or destructive? That's a tough and super philosophical question. I dig it. I believe it's equal. Um, humanity had to be creative for us to get to where we're at now. There's so much beauty and innovation in the world, but to create a lot of that beauty, we had to be destructive. When you look at a gorgeous phone, um, it makes you happy, but someone had to be creative to design it. But in order to build it, destruction of the earth had to take place to mine for all those rare materials. Abby DeLoof asks, what made you choose YouTube as a career? That's a great question. Um, so none of my friends are into tech as much as I am. So whenever I started to talk fairly in depth about tech, their eyes would just glaze right over. So when I discovered that there was a huge online community of tech enthusiasts too, I decided to jump on the bandwagon. And then as soon as I learned that you can actually make a living from your hobby, I was like, fuck this job thing, I'm buying a camera. <laughs> Since then, my life has only gotten better and I finally have some of the coolest people, which is all of you guys, to talk with about the shit I'm interested in. All right, I think that's it for this one. Um, if I didn't get to your question, drop me another in the comments and maybe I'll get to it in the next round if this is something you're all into. If you did like this video, show me some love with that like button. And if you're new to my stuff, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. But thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers. Hey,